Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. You may remember a while ago in my channel, I did a product review for the Thrunite TN12 flashlight, which is incredibly bright. And we tested this indoors and outdoors. And basically the thing's a bit like a lightsaber. So Thrunite liked my review of the TN12 so much, they've sent me another flashlight to review. So let's have a closer look. So this is the TN12, which I reviewed last time, which takes one battery and has one LED in there and that one was 1050 lumens. So the one I have today to review is considerably bigger. This is the Thrunite TN36. So let's get that out of the box. There we go. So it comes with its manual, it comes in a nice holster and also comes with spare O-rings and the switch cover because the flashlights are generally waterproof. So let's take that out of there. So you can see that's considerably bigger and it has three rather larger LEDs inside. So this flashlight is um, six and a half thousand lumens. It runs from four 18650 batteries as opposed to the one in the TN12. Um, and these aren't the same as double A's, they're um, a separate sized battery. These ones are rechargeable, they're 3.7 volts each. There's also a charger option available with this flashlight as a bundle and the charger is sold separately to charge four batteries. And um, the 18650 battery is double the length of um, the CR123A camera battery. So you could possibly squeeze eight of those in which you can buy off the shelf if you don't want rechargeables or the uh, batteries aren't charged and you need to use it or whatever. So that's quite useful of why you do need the 18650 batteries. Now through night do sell other flashlights that run on double A's, but this particular one does not. So let's put the batteries in and we'll go through the features. Okay, so to put the batteries in, I need to unscrew this, which I do just by turning it. Um, this is fl uh, waterproof, so it's got an O-ring seal and that's quite an effort to turn. Um, and then out of here comes the battery holder which is this canister the four batteries go in. Now the flashlight's got short circuit protection, uh, but we do need to put the batteries in the correct way round. And we've got these positive markings at one end. So we'll just put the batteries in there. So that's that way with the spring on the negative. So once the batteries are into there, we can put this in here again. Um, it goes either way around, so there's actually no contacts in the base of this. We've got both positive and negative poles on the top of the battery holder, um, and those connect to the positive and negative on there. So we'll just screw that back together. The case is made of aircraft grade aluminium, so it's incredibly tough and sturdy feeling. We'll just do that O-ring up to make it waterproof. And on this model, we've got one power switch um, which to switch on and off, we just hit once a short press. And then if we basically hold it, it goes up to the next brightness level. So that's pretty bright. We'll test this outside in a moment. And um, we've also got turbo mode. So if we double click that button, it gets super, super bright. And there's also a strobe mode. So if you don't like strobes, look away now. I'll give you three seconds before I double click again. There we go, and another double click back to turbo, and then we can turn off and um, uh, modify the brightness levels with a short click. And a long press will actually change the brightness. So one button does all of the functions. And a short press for off. So the other notable specifications of the TN36 are that the um, LED has a lifespan of 20 years. So it's actually got a special feature where it will power down the LED slightly if it gets too hot to uh, preserve its life. But in turbo mode at six and a half thousand lumens, it will run for 119 minutes on those four batteries. Um, on the other modes, we can get um, slightly longer run time. So in medium, it will run for 587 minutes. But in moonlight mode, which is the lowest, it will run for 33 days at 1.6 lumens, which could be quite useful. So it says it's impact resistance for two meters, which I assume means we can drop this um, uh, from a two meter height onto something solid. The TN12 actually ran over in my car and it was perfectly fine. Um, I'm not sure if I can run this over because it might pop out from under the tire, but um, we'll try um, uh, some robust tests on it shortly, as well as um, it being waterproof to so one and a half meters. So we'll soak it in some water. And um, so you can find the full specifications on the Thrunite website. 
and the full instructions as well as pricing. So let's give this a test outside. So I'm down at Southampton Makerspace, so makeit.org.uk. So we just moved into this space. We've still got a few things to get sorted, but we've got quite a lot of space. So I've got my TN36 and we're just going to power that up. So if I press and hold, it goes through the brightness levels. There we go. So that's high. And if I double click, that's turbo. But what we really want to do is turn the lights off and see what it's like. So there it is in low, medium, high, and turbo. And we can also try the strobe, which I'm going to power up in three, two, one. And off. I'm outside, I'm at the dark end of the estate where there's hardly any lighting. So that's a very low mode, medium and high. That is turbo. Let's turn that off. So pretty bright. So I don't have one and a half meters depth of water to test this in, so we're just gonna put it in a bucket for a bit. So let's um, turn that on and we'll just leave it in the lowest mode. And we'll leave that in there for a bit and come back to it shortly. So it's about an hour later, so let's just get that out of the bucket. Still seems to be working. Yep, there we go. So we need to do a drop test for this. So I thought I'd test it by throwing out of the window. So, I put a bit of plywood on the ground, which is down there, which I'm going to try and hit with the torch. And um, <coughs> not sure how well that's gonna work out, but there we go, so, hmm, okay. Yep, it definitely hit it. Let's see what it's like. Well, it still looks like it's in one piece. Yep, that is in fact working. There we go. Right, no wood. That was a bit of a better test, wasn't it? Well, the paint's a bit scuffed as you'd expect. Yep, still works. So I thought we should open it up and check the insides are okay, the battery holder and all of that. So you can see this is after I've thrown it out of the window because it's got the paint scuffs on. So we're just gonna... And the thread still works, so it hasn't buckled. Looks pretty good. Yeah, there's the battery holder, so there's no visible damage on that. Uh, Looks fine, of course it still works, so all looks nice and true and round. Oh, let's put that back together. There we go, seems um, totally fine. So that's the end of this product review, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the Throughnight website where you can buy their range of flashlights directly. They also sell on Amazon worldwide.